Hello, I'm Emma Gallagher from West Sussex and today we're going to be cooking frozen apple and blackberry surprise. Okay, so in my freezer I'm just removing the frozen apple which I frozen earlier this week. You need six cooking apples frozen and I also have a selection of blackberries and cherries and raspberries for decoration. Okay, so I've just removed the frozen fruit from my freezer. I'm going to be leaving these here to defrost and I'll come back and start the preparation. Okay, so earlier you saw me remove the frozen blackberry and apple and berries from my freezer. Now on to part two of the recipe. And what we're going to do here is I've got my saucepan and I've got my six chopped apples, which I'm now going to place in here. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to put all of these apples in. This is Stefan. Say hello to the camera. Hello, camera. Okay. And we've also got 200 grams of blackberries, which as you can see have now defrosted. So I'm just going to put these in here. Okay, so now it's going to condense down. I need to go on my mask with it. They're blackberries. I'm going to add in a touch of vanilla essence and one teaspoon of brown sugar. I think I'm going to let go of the last three. And what we're going to do, Stefan, is we're going to heat this on a gentle heat and allow it to condense. Okay, so welcome back to uh, the next stage of my cooking where I've been stewing the apple and blackberry. As you can see, the defrosted apple and blackberry have now become a lot smaller in size and resemble the same sort of texture that you'd find inside a fruit pie. So I'm going to take this off the heat to cool and then I'll come back for the next stage. Okay then, so the fruit is nearly finished cooling down. So what I need to do now is take 300 ml of whipping cream and I've got this uh, handy device here, my uh, trustworthy mixer. I'll be pouring the whipping cream into this. I'm going to whip it up. Okay, so while the frozen fruit has been cooling down, my trusty mixer has made very uh, quick work of ripping the cream. So we're into the final stage, and for this, I need a packet of ginger nut biscuits. I'm going to make a circle out of these, so I'm going to take six biscuits, first of all, one in the middle. I'm going to place three on the top here. And three here. And I'm going to go about putting a layer of the fruit mixture on top of the biscuits like so. Okay, so we've got our first six uh, circle biscuits here with a layer of the fruit on top. I'm just going to repeat that now. And put another six on. And I'm going to put another layer of the fruit on top of this layer. So the cake's nearly finished now. We've got a layer of whipped cream on top of the layers of fruits and ginger nut biscuits. All we need now is the fruit left over from this morning, which I defrosted, the cherries and the blackberries, to add the final touches. So I need the help of Stefan to help decorate. Come in, Stefan. Can you put some cherries on here and decorate, please? Is it cake? 
And there we have it, our frozen apple and blackberry surprise.